This was a Soviet-made tank that we saw in Syria five, six years ago. Dr. Andrew Gregory loves his job. He is the director of the Base Board Military Museum. Ever since I was a kid, I've been passionate about military history. So this is my, my opportunity to convey to people enormous pride in these, the efforts of our country, of our members of the military in, in this great enterprise known as Canada. The history of CFB Borden itself began in the spring of 1916. Built on a sandy plain after the clearing and removal of many pine trees, the base operation surged ahead. And very quickly, within weeks, thousands of people began arriving. So that by the end of the war, Base Borden has seen 330,000 troops pass through its gates for either part of their training or all of their training. In that sense, it's truly amazing to think that you cannot really reflect on Vimy Ridge, Passchendaele, Hill 70, the 100 days, without appreciating that those are, a significant number of those people were bored and trained. The museum is an amalgamation of many museums with some historical collections held by different units on the base. The vehicles behind me uh, the tanks a little farther away are courtesy of the Royal Canadian Armoured Corps while they were here on the base and the Royal Canadian Army Service Corps. I think you can say by 1970 there is clearly a museum presence. There are several museums on the base. You're in Hangar 11. This is an original 1917 built, purpose built military hangar. This whole flight line was built in early 1917. This is really the birth, birthplace of the Royal Canadian Air Force. I love looking at it and seeing the thickness of the steel and it makes me appreciate how crammed it is in a tank. The core reason why the museum is set up is first and foremost for esprit de corps. But after that, then there's uh, the wider public relations thing where you, you impress on people what we've done. I want the casual visitor to come away with an impression of great sacrifice, great societal investment in the enterprise in general. We want them to feel great pride in how Canada, a middle power, small power and then middle power, was able to achieve so much.